For those of you that don't know, I'm Justin Rhodes. That's my original, I call it the meat shawl or the monster shawl because we house sea monsters in there. See, for Cornish cross birds that grow so fast and eat so much. By the end of their life, this system is taking up at least 50 pounds of feed a day. So in this video, I'm gonna address an important experiment I just did where we did one whole batch where we soaked the feed. Sometimes it got to the fermenting point, ferments at about three days of soaking, because why? Well, the textbooks say you save 15% or more. It ended up being a little bit of a pain because you have to strain it. You don't wanna feed the water to the chickens because that's where the impurities go from the soaking to soaking, breaks down the anti-nutrients and supposedly makes it more digestible. So we had run run with soaking, it was a little bit of a pain, straining it and feeding it to the chickens. So we said, let's try a dry run and see if it's really that much better. We just did it, we just did a, a wet run where the feed was soaked, raised them to eight weeks, did another run where the feed was dry, raised them to eight weeks. So was soaking feed as good as the textbooks say? Well, I'll be honest with you, I was kind of hoping that the dry feed would win because at the time it was easier. Now it's not necessarily easier now that we know that we can use the earth as the filter and we can just pour it right on the ground. But the numbers don't lie. Here's the thing we figured. How much pound of feed did it take to get us a pound of chicken? What we found out though absolutely blew my mind. From what I understood it would save me 15%. It ended up saving me 25%. <laughs> so you got 20 so you can look at it you can look at it this way. You got 25% more meat for the same exact amount of feed, same exact kind of feed, just soaked overnight in water. <laughs> or you can look at it you saved 25 cents on the dollar. If you're gonna spend just 100 bucks, raise a few chickens, that's $25. That's a big deal. Here's what you do. I don't have any in here yet because we just moved the chicks out, but let's say you, you put your dry feed in here, okay? I have a storage area out here on top of my meat shaw. That will hold up to 100 pounds of feed. So you have your dry feed, that's easy, right? You put your dry feed in a bucket. We like a five gallon food grade bucket. You put your dry feed in this bucket, it's in there. You cover it with at least four inches of water because it does soak it up. And another cool thing about soaking feed and maybe why it went so far is because when you have starter feed with chickens, it, it gets powdery and they, they have a hard time getting that when it's dry, but I've noticed when that's wet and that's been soaked, it, it becomes clumpy and they can actually consume that. So you waste very little feed. Let me show you what this looks like. I'm pulling some of that out, look. Look how beautiful. That's a New Country Organics feed. Look how the water's coming out of it. The impurities are, are coming out, staying in the water. You could just take that bucket and line it up. Let's do that in a second, but let me, let me show you this. Look, we got one eaten. You just want to put it in a line, and look, the water just goes down into the earth. And the earth absorbs it, and it's nutrients for the earth. It's not going to be bad. They love it, too. And you pour it out like so. And your liquid comes out, and you just refill your liquid. If you were to strain it, first of all, you have the time of straining, and it could be maybe not worth it, even at 25%, because of the time commitment and then you put it in a trough and the only big troughs we could find were metal and because the feed was wet it would quickly rust it like in what in one session so i'm wanting to encourage these guys to get on the grass look at this they're out on the grass and by the way 20 percent of their diet can come from grass so in this system they're out happy as can be roaming in the grass and Eating 20% of their feed is going to be such delicious meat for us. This keeps them healthy. Absolutely beautiful. 
Did, do you hear me though? That's like saving 45%, like almost 50%. If you guys actually want to geek out on the numbers and see where we came up with that and see some of the other numbers and compare them to the last numbers we had, I'm going to leave that info down in the show notes. So check that out, geek out, enjoy it. Did you guys notice? Did you guys notice at the beginning of this? It's the 100 days of growing food. It's the 100th day. We are done. Yes! We grew so much. We have a special series coming out, not this coming week. But next week, three-part series, Good, Bad, and Ugly, of the 100 Days of Growing Food. You know that bit I just did on the chickens? That was a redo. Yesterday, when I filmed that, yesterday, which was Friday, when I filmed that, something went wrong with the mic. There was some volume there, but it just was not high. We couldn't take it. I, I easily redid it, and I think it's probably actually better, the version you got. Then, we had Bus Life New Zealand review our bus. Oh, I hated that we... Lost that, but we're going to do that again for you right now. Look what we have here. Some very experienced bus life people. <laughs> Are there any ideas in it that you're like, ah, maybe we should do that at our... That desk right down there. That desk. Imagine that. Follow these guys. They're still in the bus. You're going back to New Zealand. You're traveling America. You're going to go back to New Zealand in four-ish weeks. Yes. And then we had a picnic with them. And that turned out, the volume turned out great there, but I don't need the volume because I'm gonna put it to a nice song to end the video. Thank you for sticking with us for the 100 days of growing food. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe. Join the family, get the notifications. We're gonna take a day off, Saturday, today, so there will not be a movie Sunday. And then we're gonna start building on the Chickshaw Mini-Me. And we wanna build it in one or two days. If we build it in one day on Sunday, You'll get a movie on Monday. If it takes a Sunday and Monday, hopefully not anymore, you'll get a movie on Tuesday. So we may be taking two days off. So thank you guys for bearing with us. Enjoy, how about the 100 Days of Growing Food playlist. All right, enjoy the B-roll of the nice picnic we had from our friends from New Zealand. had such a big day yesterday, we decided to take it a little easier today, have a little picnic, and be a tourist on our own farm. How about that? Look at that pretty place. Picnic on the lawn. It's time to stick it by Mr. Brown. Are you sad? You know, it's harder, it's harder to stay and be yeah. left. Yeah, like we have a lot of experience on this part. It's harder to be the one staying. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna go meet new people. Yeah. We will see you guys. Thank you. See you. Thank you so much, Thank Justin. It's been so, so good to meet you. Yeah. See you guys. Thank you. Yeah. See you, buddy. I gotta hug you. Oh, did you give him a hug? Yeah. He got caught up, but then he realized. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. This? <laughs> I, I told Josiah that. last night. I said, "Hey, they're leaving tomorrow, and it's gonna be a while before we see them because they live very far away." And he said, "Can we go with them? We have a bus." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Mm. We do. You want to get back in that bus? Yeah. Go on the road again? <laughs> yes. Safe to leave, buddy. Had the yeah. best time, Bye, Bye, Daisy. Thank you for coming. Bye. Come here. See you guys. Thanks for having us. Nice. Come here. You're gonna go. You're going to more He's starting to register it in his little brain. Okay.